Hope is the Public Interest Resource Center at the University of Miami School of Law. We are dedicated to instilling a pro bono ethic in all of our students, and we do so through a range of programs, including community outreach, legal advocacy, and creating partnerships among agencies, alumni, lawyers, and civic leaders. The Hope Public Interest Resource Center serves as a hub for those who are interested in finding ways to meaningfully engage in advocacy work in our community. Students come to the office to consult with our student leaders and our staff to identify agencies and opportunities to effectuate change. Our Hope Fellows distinguish themselves by working with advocates to identify unmet needs. Each fellow has to propose a unique project and find ways to service the population. Then, after the completion of the internship, Hope Fellows come back to the campus community and integrate the work into our campus fabric. They do so by educating their peers, creating new opportunities for advocacy in our community, and by serving on the Public Interest Leadership Board. In addition, students have the opportunity to work with attorneys side-by-side -side on pro bono cases through our pro bono legal research. We connect our students with attorneys who are practicing in the private sector but who have found meaningful ways to make public service work a part of their professional careers. I want to show you a sampling of our student leaders, the work that they do, our HOPE fellows, and the service and dedication that exists among our student body. My name is Evian White and I am a 2L and a Senior HOPE Fellow. As a HOPE Fellow, I worked at Legal Services of Greater Miami with the Homeless Legal Assistance Project. This project addresses the wide range of legal problems the homeless population faces. Everything from settling tax disputes with the IRS to appealing the denial of public benefits. I was constantly involved in different projects to promote access to justice for this vulnerable an often invisible population. Of course, I still worked on my supervising attorney's caseloads, drafting advice letters, obtaining replacement permanent residence cards, and certificates of naturalization. Hope has given me the opportunity to come to law school to do what I've wanted to do. My name is David Spaked, and I was a Hope Fellow last summer at the Florida Immigrant Advocacy Center. BIAC is a progressive organization consisting mostly of employment and labor lawyers. Our primary goal is not to only help clients on a case-by-case -case basis, but to organize community programs and to eventually pass legislation that will strengthen our cause for the equal rights of all workers, regardless of their national origin or citizenship status. Largely, the problem that workers face is that employers often hire them and don't compensate them for all hours work. Our overall goal is to add a distinct wage theft provision to the local human rights ordinance, specifically recognizing that it is a human right to be paid for work that one has done. As HOPE Fellows, we engage in various service initiatives throughout the year, one of which is the HOPE Day of Service. Over 300 students went to 14 sites this year in Miami-Dade County, ranging from educating and registering elderly voters performing environmental restoration at historic parks and beaches. Not only does the Hope Day of Service provide thousands of hours of manpower to nonprofit organizations, but it is also a countywide push for awareness of the poverty and injustice that we live side by side with in South Florida. We came to Guatemala to work with the Center for Human Rights and they work with uh, women's organizations, prison organizations, uh, children's education projects, and uh, human rights violations in Guatemala. We went to the school to speak to children about what they believe their human rights are, and to teach 12 to 14 year olds to think about those issues a bit more. We went to the courthouse to see a live trial we got to meet with the secretary, and he spoke to us for a long time regarding Guatemala and the state system, how overburdened they are, how many cases they have to hear a year, and the limited resources they have to work with. Overall, everything was really intense. Guatemala is a very interesting place. They're in an interesting time right now. 
These are just a few of the programs that are sponsored through the HOPE Public Interest Resource Center. Our students participate in public interest work through HOPE on a voluntary basis. Thousands of hours are logged each year through various programs, and it's a testament to the culture of our campus and the spirit of our students.